Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome. My name is Jillian if you're new here and I make crochet plushies and other crochet content and if that sounds interesting to you make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and you can join our little crochet community we've got going on so far. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So today is Tuesday, August 15th. It's about 3 o'clock p.m. right now, and I'm just now starting off this vlog for the week. I didn't end up recording yesterday on Monday, but here I am today. So we are just going to get into it for the day, and I'm sure as you have already seen based on the title, I have some exciting news to announce. So... I'm going to be doing my first craft fair in September. I just signed up for the booth and the registration and all of that good stuff. So I am super duper excited and I can't wait for that. In the meantime, you guys will be coming along with me through this journey of market prepping for the first time, as well as getting all of the stuff that goes into it together and ready for the event. The event is on September 16th, so we have about four or five weeks out until I have to be there. It is from 11 to 4, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. As I said, this is my first market, so I don't know what to expect, but it is their third annual event at this place and the event venue is actually my wedding venue for next year when I get married. So I already know the place a little bit so I figured it would be a good comfortable place to start off doing a market event at and they usually have a bunch of people there on the weekends and stuff so I'm kind of excited about the turnout of this and it is specifically a it's called Crafty Apple, but it's going to be based around apples and it's like a little winery and I'm really excited to see how that turns out. So my plan for the rest of the day is basically to make a huge brainstorm slash plan of things I want to bring to sell at the event as well as make a list of everything that I'm going to need for the event. So tables, signs, display items, all of that sort of stuff I'm going to need to purchase. And I'll also be bringing you guys along for the shopping that I do for like display items and whatnot. So I'm excited to do all of that to get ready. And as I said, we're gonna be going into the market prep planning. So let's do it. Also, you guys, if you're wondering what this angle slash background is, it's a little weird because my living room is weird and it's shaped like a triangle, but that's besides the point. Um, I finally got a desk slash a little workstation, finally, and I'm really excited about it. I like set up my stuff and this is where I do all of my crochet work. So here's a quick little overview of my desk. It's not much and I definitely want to get some little desk organizers or something up here and then I have my yarn shelf right there but it definitely does the job and I love just having a specific workplace for my crochet. So I just went through and wrote out a little list of all of the inventory I have in stock that I can bring with me to sell so I wrote that down here and I have a lavender bee a mallard duck, a pickle, a bat, and because it's a fall themed event I'm gonna be focusing on fall items for crochet prep but this is one of the Halloween items I have already made. This little bat from Mom Stichetti. I love this bat pattern so much. So cute! And then I have I'm still debating on this, but I can always make another one. That's my issue is I make stuff and then I want to keep it, but this mint chip turtle. I love this. I love these turtles. They're so adorable. Love. So we might sell that. We'll see. And then I'm going to bring this other watermelon turtle. I also love this one. So cute. This is from Happy Turtle Crochet, the no-sew turtle pattern. Adorable. 
And then what else do we have? We have the chalky mushrooms and the octopi that I make. And yesterday I started market prepping like as soon as I got accepted basically I was like okay we need to get ready let's market prep. So last night I made a, another red chunky mushroom boy and then I made an orange one and the idea with the orange ones is to make like a little brown stem and maybe a little leaf to be like pumpkin so those are so cute and I hope these are good sellers I think they should be I've heard that they're good sellers but either way I think they're adorable and I definitely am going to make a bunch more of these to be there at the event Alright y'all, so the last thing you guys saw was me packaging up this order right here. I got an order for three items, which is my biggest order ever on my Etsy, so that's super exciting. Thank you if whoever bought this is watching, thank you so much. And now I need to rush to the post office to get this shipped out because our post office closes at 4 30 and it's four o'clock right now so we're gonna run there real quick all right guys it is now about eight o'clock at night and i'm just now picking up crocheting i am starting to make a pumpkin mushroom boy and i wanted to show you my little stitch marker that i made I got the charm and this little clip from Hobby Lobby and I think it's really cute and we're gonna try it out but yeah let's just we're gonna keep crocheting and getting some market prep done. Alright guys, it's about 9.30 now and I just finished up this orange chunky mushroom guy and again these orange ones are going to be pumpkin themed with a stem and a leaf and I think I'm going to save doing that step until later and then just do them all at once. But as of right now I have two total mushroom boys. <laughs> Um, for the market and they're really cute. Just this regular red one and this one and I want to have five of them total. That's the goal right now that I have on my little market prep sheet and I am trying to like categorize them by how much I think I'm going to charge so that way I can just add it up easily and see overall how much inventory I have so that way I'm prepared. So I actually think I'm going to make another one of these orange pumpkin mushroom guys and that way I'll be over halfway of my goal which is five to have ready for the market and we're still like four or five weeks out so I think we're doing pretty good and anyways, let's crochet another one of those. Hello everyone. So checking in now, it is the next day. It's Wednesday, August 16th, and it's about four o'clock right now. I had like a work meeting and other stuff to do earlier. So we're here now. We've got a nice 
cup of coffee. And the last thing you guys saw was last night I had started another mushroom boy. And this one I decided to do this mustard color because it's more of a fall tone. So I think this is really cute. And then I'm going to do... I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I might continue on doing mushrooms, but we'll see. I am for sure going to finish up this guy because he's close to being done, and we'll go from there. Hello everyone! It is now the next day. It is Wednesday the 17th, and I'm just updating now. It is 5 o'clock p.m., and... I haven't really been doing much today. I did a little bit of crocheting and that's what I'm doing right now. So I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. I'm making a pumpkin turtle and I'm really excited. It's my first time so we'll see how it turns out. But I crocheted the front flippers, the back ones, the little tail, and then I'm just starting on the head and then all that's left is the pumpkin slash body part so I'm hoping to get this done today and be able to show you guys because I definitely want to have one if not two of these ready for the market and hopefully people like them I think they're really cute so yeah we're just gonna continue working on this head for the turtle and then at some point I need to go out and run some errands but I'm thinking of doing those a little bit later so let's get to work on this Okay guys, I hope you're ready. It is now 7 o'clock and I just finished the pumpkin turtle. Here it is. Look how stinking cute that is. The little vine and the stem. So adorable. And it's mini and cute. This pattern also had an option for two pumpkins stacked on top of each other so I may or may not try one of those out but I'm for sure going to try and make another one of these to sell at the market since it's fall themed and these are just too cute way too cute anyways I'm glad I finished this in a good amount of time so I can work on some other little stuff throughout the night and I think as of right now, I'm going to head out and do some errands and I will check in with you guys later. Hello everyone. So I am now checking in 
it is quite a few days later. It is now August 21st. I think it's Monday today and it's about one o'clock and I figured I would hop on here to continue the rest of this vlog. I'm just gonna do from today until Thursday and we'll wrap it up then. But in the meantime, today is my fiance's birthday, so um, he's out doing other things right now. So I have a little bit of time to crochet. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna make yet, but we will figure that out as always. So as for the rest of the day, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be on as much since it is his birthday, but I will for sure be on tomorrow tomorrow i actually get a tattoo so i guess i don't know if i'm gonna be able to crochet we'll see but <laughs> other than that let's just get into crocheting for today everyone so it is now Tuesday August 22nd it is about one o'clock and I just finished up my B body and this is the pattern that I just kind of did and worked up myself so at first I got to the second stripe and I didn't really like it because I think I wanted it like a little bit smaller than this but my goal was a medium sized B and I think this fits the medium sized B category so I think this actually turned out pretty cute and then for the eyes I added just some glitter gold eyes so at some point today I'll be finishing the wings to complete this B but as of right now, as I said, it is one o'clock and I actually have a tattoo appointment at three o'clock. So I'm not gonna get much done between now and then, but I am super excited to get my tattoo and I'm sure I'll show you guys after I get it. Um, but yeah, I know for sure later I'll be trying to crochet. I guess we'll see with the placement. It's just on the back of my arm, so I think I should be good at crochet still but we'll see I'm pretty excited and yeah let's just I'll see you guys later hello everyone so it is now actually Wednesday I didn't end up recording the last half of the day yesterday so here we are now it is 6 30 kind of got a late start to the day but here we are and I figured I would show you the B that I completed. Here it is with its wings. I think it turned out super cute and I do actually like the size a lot. And I definitely had some trial and error with these wings um, to get them to the size I wanted. And I feel like they could almost be a little bit bigger, but I like how they look on here for now. I'm also debating on whether or not I should add a smile. Usually I do, 
but some people prefer them without smiles but if anything you can literally chop the smile off if you don't like it so maybe I will add a little smile because I think that would make it look even cuter. As for the rest of the night I am going to go through and make sure I have the five mushroom um, chunky boys completed so and by that I mean adding the little stem and leaves to these orange ones that will be pumpkins so I want to make sure those are all ready and good to go to the market and then I think the rest of the night I'm going to start cranking out some just regular pumpkins and yeah let's just get into it Hello guys, so it is actually now the next week, it is Monday, and I'm just hopping on here to wrap this vlog up. I did not end up doing anything on Thursday, crochet-wise, I didn't end up filming that, um, but I did end up making a pumpkin spice bee instead of doing whatever I said in the last clip, I made this like little pumpkin spice themed bee and then I also made the little wings to go with it so I'll attach these and this guy will be done but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and if you aren't already make sure you subscribe down below to stay up to date with me and join our little crochet community and with that, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me in general, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!